Hey, it's some old guy coding again, and today we're going to do an unboxing of a little uh, a network uh, video recorder with some cameras. Uh, the mother-in-law has enough hours now that we can have someone else come in and take care of her for a while. So I can actually come down here and, and work on stuff without worrying about her up there or having to bring a camera along with me. But uh, my wife wanted uh, to have some cameras in the house just to uh, be able to document uh, any injuries that might occur and, and uh, make sure that uh, the people that we have coming in here are safe. I mean, most of them are, but you know, uh, most of them we know, but occasionally you get somebody that you don't know very well and uh, you just want to be safe for the mother-in-law. So here we are, this is the SmoNet. <laughs> Wireless HD is supposed to be the 1024, uh, uh, it's supposed to be the uh, um, uh, 1080p uh, version, we'll see. And uh, this, I ordered, also ordered the discless version because it's cheaper to buy the disc separately. And behind here is a, uh, is a two gig uh, hard drive that we're going to install too. So, this is wireless IP camera, view in picture HD, uh, works on the, uh, works on the, uh, uh, there's supposed to be a phone app for it. Um, it's also supposed to have, uh, some uh, infrared LEDs on there to light things up for night vision and it, apparently it has its own separate Wi-Fi channel that it sets up so let's open her up and see what we can find let's see what kind of trouble we can get into here get the fingers to work come on fingers fingers that are in chronic bad shape here there we go alright we got something going here Let's move him over there and we'll look down a little bit. Right off the top here, we have a, a box and some stuff. Ooh, that must be the unit right here that has the fancy bubble wrap, just like, just like a hard driver in it, but it actually isn't. <laughs> and this box must be the, uh, the cameras themselves and any other assorted hardware. Oh, oh, the watch storage short so that must be something else and I bet you it comes with four cameras so I bet you these are the four cameras back in here so let me get this organized here and I dump the thing in out Ooh, just like that set that box aside so I'm guessing because these four boxes are identical that these are the cameras Alright, so let's start with what's in the long box here. Of course, back here's the hard drive. We'll look at that in a little bit. And we open her up, and boy, there's a lot of cables in here. Oh my god. There's the uh, a network cable connected to uh, the uh, um, you know, home network. There is a super cheap mouse, but that's fine, USB mouse. We have all the adapters. This one's the 200 milliamp, or milliamp, so I should say. That's the 200 milliamp, so I believe that one is for the uh, the base station, or the control unit. And these narrower guys are uh, 1,000 milliamps. And these are for the cameras, one of each for each camera. There's another one. Another one, and one more, there we go. So we'll maybe pop those guys back in here now that we've seen what's inside. So we keep track of everything here. And this kind of lightweight mouse. So we'll put that off to a side. And let's open up one of the cameras here and see what we have. Have expected them to put the, the charger or the uh, adapter in with the camera, but apparently not. So there we have a uh, camera with three infrared LEDs. I'm not impressed by that, but you know it's not like we're going to be needing a lot of uh, you know really dark um, uh, 
viewing. In the back here, it looks like we have a spot for an antenna. And this is the antenna that screws on there. It's a nice big one. And then also it looks like it's quite adjustable in different places here. Have some uh, in-wall mounts. We also have a nice little uh, nice little um, Allen wrench here that fits uh, these guys here so that we can adjust wherever we want it to be. It looks like it rotates this way and it looks like it will rotate like that and I believe it also rotates on the camera here. So let's take a look. I'll just loosen one of these guys up here real quick. I wonder what size that is. Should be nice if it was a 2.5. I could use a few of those. So yep, you just loosen her up. There's no thumb screws like you might find on other cameras. This camera is quite large compared to some others you might get for a, a security system. Uh, these are the waterproof ones though. They are su exterior suitable so that's probably why they're a bit on the larger side. And we have a wire connect on the bottom here. And that can either come through a hole in there or it can go along the wall if you wall mount it like that. And we have on the end here, we have a network connector. I think you need that to configure these to pair them. And then the, uh, the connector from the um, wall wart, of course. So we got four of those guys. <clears throat> Whoops. And one more piece inside the, uh, the foam here. We have one other little shroud that goes over the top. Apparently that just got pulled off in the process. That's what it should look like. This is the part that came off. Not glued very well. Although, although they tried. Looks like there's some silicone or RTV right there. But uh, it didn't hold. <laughs> what do you expect? Alright. So, now for the electronics. Very lightweight box. Of course, there's nothing in it. We have some padding back here with the uh, dual antennas. Make sure I'm on camera there, so we'll take that padding off. And here's the front. Not much going on there. Not much happening there. Some LEDs and a hole. <laughs> so. The first thing we're supposed to do, I think I hear a wire hanging around in there, bouncing around, is, uh, I don't know if we power it up first or insert the hard drive first. I don't know if it matters. There is a uh, software that's built into here that will initialize the hard drive. Looks like we have our hard drive mounting screws right there. Woohoo! And a manual! Look at that! walks you through the process. Looks like we're installing the hard drive up here. And uh, so we'll, we'll work our way through that process. So, at least it's a nice covered manual. Ooh, a boogler. As long as he doesn't steal your unit, you'll get a good picture of him. Talks about orientation of the uh, of the um, antennas on the on the um, cameras it says now in uh, the poor English uh, please don't install cameras after you connected system well and got images on monitor before connection please prepare PC TV or a, VG, or a VGA HDMI cable a router and hard disk if you purchase the camera system without a hard disk, please install the hard disk into your NVR uh, box first, uh, or else it's unable to record and playback video, of course. Uh, include, if include the hard drive, there's four screws. Okay, so there's four screws. Hard drive installation uh, as follows. Disassemble with two screws. Disassemble cover. Fix screws on the hard drive. Connect data wire and power wire and close the cover. So, let's go ahead and give that a try. Evil try. There's the hard drive cables. And uh, 
I picked up uh, off of Amazon too, where I got that from also, is uh, a Western Digital uh, purple two terabyte hard drive here. Um, personally, I, say, I personally like Seagate's better. I've had better luck. Uh, Western Digital, everything I buy from Western Digital seems to die. So we'll see um, what happens here with this guy inside the unit. Uh, of course, that came with uh, its wonderful uh, packaging here too. Yep, according to the picture, it's uh, with the top side facing up, it's these two little screws right there. That one there and that one there. And it's a little Phillips screwdriver, so let me rummage around for a minute to find a Phillips driver. And let's see, we'll put these back here someplace so maybe I won't knock them on the floor where they will disappear. Alright. You ready for the unveiling? Let's see what I should push back and pop open. Okay. There we are. Oh boy, look at that. There is not much in there. We got uh, you know, the connector cable for the uh, uh, SATA drive. We've got the power connector for the SATA drive. We have a little ribbon cable that goes up front here to the front panel LEDs. And apparently there's nothing behind that uh, little hole in front. Nothing going on there. And that all connects into the card here. We have a couple of wires coming off of uh, uh, the Wi-Fi connect here. Those are the little going to the antennas. A pretty good sized chip in there. Oh, a battery. We probably keep time. What kind of chip is that? It's a uh, HI3520. So who knows? Hey, and it's actually been quality checked by two people. There's a beeper back here, maybe that's what the uh, hole is about in front is to allow the beeper to escape, although there's plenty of holes on either side. So let's go ahead and uh, mount the hard drive. Yeah, I'll rip open the hard drive. Mmm, smells like nothing. Got the uh, obligatory uh, desiccant in there, of course. I always throw that in with my 3D printer filament, a little bit, a little bit more can't hurt. And there's the drive. Surveillance hard drive. So hopefully this will uh, work uh, a little while. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just threaded two of the screws in where it should uh, match up with the uh, kind of keyhole slots down there. So let's see if we can get that guy to slot in without dropping. Whoop, just like that, don't drop it. Okay, that seems to slot in well there. Make sure these guys are connected. Let me pull that guy out first. And we will connect those wires first. So that's the data cable. They are keyed, so you can't make a mistake. Very nice. That guy's in. And then the power cable here is keyed also on a different size. So it's pretty tough to make a mistake with that. And that goes right alongside. Come on. Should go right in there. Oh, got it upside down. Nope. Backwards, upside down. This way up, backwards and upside down. So this will slot in there. Oh, come on. There. So they're both in all the way. Let's try set it, setting it down again without dropping it again. And I'm just going to slot those two screws into those two keyhole slots there. Feels like they're in. So while holding the drive, I'm going to flip it over here and uh, 
looky there, they did uh, slot right in there where they should. And it looks like there's the two other holes are lining up for the hard drive right there. So perfect. So I'm just going to snug those two up for a second so it doesn't go any place on me. And we'll tip her over here. Let's make those guys line up a little better. And we'll put these hard drives in, or these screws in the hard drive. There's that one. And one more. You know, this is a uh, Simon Net, I think it was, or I forget. Yeah, they don't have a. Look at this, they don't even have a brand name on the. Oh, I guess they do. They have it on the picture here, the Simon Net. Or uh, Smonet, Smonet. So, but I bet you that, uh, you know, the this box is probably super standardized. The card is all the same. So I bet you there's a lot of people out there selling exactly the same box. And, uh, what are the cameras they have? sure those guys stay out of the way. It looks like maybe if we had uh, uh, a smaller drive, maybe that would have fit over on this side here if we had the two and a half inch drive. But that's fine. We'll put that guy in there. We'll close up the lid. If we can. There we go. The lid is shut. Screw the lid down again. Little tiny screws for the for the lid. Phillips screwdriver I'm using is a little bit on the small side for all of these things. That's the first one I can grab. So, there we are. There it is. So uh, we did get the cameras all set up, and here's an example picture. I'd like to say that um, the cameras uh, uh, seemed like the way I was installing them, the, the antenna was always in the way, so we couldn't quite get the right uh, rotation. You know, if they were pointing the other direction, the antenna wouldn't have been in the way. And, of course, the uh, little screws and things on there are kind of fidgety compared to, uh, you know, real tiles, you know, real handles. But it's designed to be an outdoor camera where people don't muck with it. So it's uh, as intended. Software-wise, it seems pretty standard to uh, what you would expect to find on a security system. Uh, I did tweak the sensitivity, motion sensitivity, down so that every time a cat would turn its head, it wouldn't record again. But uh, I've had a Lorex system in the past, and it seems uh, very, very similar to that. So, um, yeah, it seems to work good. And here we are, what, a month later, I think, uh, something like that. Uh, and it's still working good. Thanks for watching.